Hello folks, hello folks. So, my younger sister got me this for Christmas, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And I just felt some strange compulsion to make a video about it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Here it is. Oosh. Look at that. So if you don't really know what this is, it's not really a console in sort of the sense that some of you might think of a console. Like, you don't download games onto it, you don't put like a cart inside of it to play a game, like a disc or whatever. It comes with games on it, so you just plug this into a TV or a monitor. You plug in the power source into this, you turn it on, like that, like a classic Super Nintendo. And then you go to like a menu screen, a menu screen pops up, and then you pick whatever game you want to play. You know, games like, what do they got here? They got the never-released Star Fox 2. Big selling point, I suppose. Super Mario World, I have that. Oh, I don't play, I don't play uh, F-Zero. Yeah, F-Zero. I never got to play that when I was younger. I don't have the card or anything like that. So that got me. That would be cool to play. And you got more games on the back. Hopefully my camera will actually focus on the names this time. You can, it just chooses not to sometimes. Alright, it's choosing not to. Fine. I'll just put a list of the games in the description. Or whatever. But yeah, you got like, uh, what do you got here? You got Kirby Superstar. Which I never got to play either, and I love Kirby, so. Uh, can you eat those? No, oh, you can, okay. Eat them. Eat it. What are you doing? Get back here. Ow! Oh, God, I'm just an idiot. Okay. Sadly, this does not come with Kirby's Dream Land 3, which was a big favorite of mine, but, uh, you know. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I borrowed that cart from my friend, and then I returned the cart to my friend, and then he subsequently lost it, so. Unless I buy it on Amazon or something, like, yeah. Also, it doesn't come with an uh, act razor, which I was so looking forward to playing, again, but uh, th then I learned it wasn't on here, so that means sad. But there's a, there's a huge lineup on here, you know, as you can see. Big ones like Super Mario World, I have that as well. Legend Link to the Past. I wasn't a big Link to the Past guy, I was a bigger um, Link's Awakening guy, but that was on the Game Boy, so. And I probably lost a few of you <laughs> with that comment. Super Metroid, I... Super Metroid, I, I borrowed the cart from my friend's brother ages ago. I still haven't played it, and I have yet to return it. So after this video, I'm gonna have to return this because I just remembered it existed. Same with uh, Final Fantasy 3, yeah, which is known as Final Fantasy 6 in Japan, I believe. Huge game, someone recommended I play it, like a couple of people recommended that I play it, who uh, I know online. Again, I borrowed this from my friend's brother, same guy, still haven't returned it years ago. Gonna have to return that after this video. Hopefully I remember to do that, yeah. But yeah, so this actually connects, one of the, cool, one of the things I like about this is that it connects via HDMI, as you can see there. It comes with it. HDMI cable. Um, it's about like five feet or four foot ten, somewhere in between there. I did like a really rough, um, you know, measurement right before the video. Here we go. So yeah, I might actually record some of these games. Actually, yeah. So uh, it'll probably be like one-off videos. You know, nothing too long. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they got a super go uh, super ghouls and ghosts. Maybe I'll maybe I'll play a little bit of that. Um, never got to really try that ever uh see so yeah oh god there's two wolves out there i really want the fireball thing now i don't know how to deal with this come on go 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 up the thing go 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 move 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 okay there. we're fine we're fine there you go so here it is actually next next to my original snes giant thing isn't it so you can see how small this thing really is it's really really uh like, it fits in my hand, and I have small hands, so it just really shows you how small this is. Like, I'll, let me pop out the card here. Super Mario Kart. I'll put it over here. I'll put it on top of this thing, so you can kind of... There you go. But, you know, the buttons work very similarly. Like, even the reset button. Like, it actually does reset um, the game. Well, it doesn't reset the game. It actually brings you back to the menu, I believe. Yeah, the main menu. I'll check that later. And so, yeah. Oh yeah, here's the control. Like, here's the original controller, right here, and here's the new controller, which looks the same as the old controller. It feels pretty much the same too. I mean, this is really smooth because it's old, but and this one's got a texture to it. But yeah, more or less, it, the feeling is very, very much the same, it's pro which is probably the intention, you know. But the end on the new one is looks like this, right? And you're probably wondering, well, you know, where do you, where do you plug that in, right? So what you do actually is, yeah. This front thing here, yeah, it's actually a tab that you pull off like this. Like, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, wait. oh, you gotta get it from underneath. There you go. And you plug it into here like that. Yeah, it comes with two, and the box comes with two controllers. So yeah, you don't have to buy it like separately or anything like that. I would plug this in right now, but I it's such a hassle to do everything with one hand. Like my right hand's on my controller, not my controller. My uh, my right hand's operating the camera right now, and my left, which is not my dominant hand at all, is desperately gonna attempt to plug this in. Even though I said I wasn't gonna try and plug it in. Oh, there, I got it in! Ah. Oh, you alright? Yeah, it's alright. It's fine. It's all good. So yeah, you just plug in the controller, you plug in the HDMI cord, and then you plug it into a monitor. Then you plug in the power source, which, uh, I think that's somewhere. Oh, it's plugged in right now. It's over here. There's the power source, so yeah. You plug this wire into this cable, which it comes with. And then you plug in this end right here. Into the, uh, to the back of this thing, like right here. Yeah, you're pretty much good to go. Yeah. And see, so, yeah, I think that's about it. That's, uh, that's all that's really worth mentioning here. Uh, also, it doesn't come with pilot wings. That's, that's always, this is a really fun game. <laughs> I'm a little surprised it didn't come with that because didn't they re release pilot wings? Not re release it. They actually had like a Wii version of the pilot wings or something like that. So I was wondering if, uh, they would bring it back to for this thing, but now they didn't. It does come with Earthbound though. I haven't played Earthbound. I think I watched a Let's Play of Earthbound. That's about it. Castlevania never got to play that. I I always hear about this series. I've only played Symphony of the, of the Night, which I believe is different from this one in that uh, Castlevania. What is this? Castlevania. It's not on the, the list here on the side. Whatever, but it's here. So Castlevania Four. I believe this is a linear. Castlevania game. Wow, that is blurry on the... My phone is deciding not to focus at all. Oh, whatever, it's fine. So yeah. That'll be cool. Uh, what else haven't I played? Secret of Mana, or Mana, however you want to pronounce it. I did play Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy, Mega Man X. The X threw me off, because I was thinking of Final Fantasy X. But yeah, I played this on the Game Boy only, which was really fun. I, that was actually a big part of my childhood, I think. Um, it, but it's called Mega Man Extreme on the Game Boy. See, I do have, you know, I have Donkey Kong. What else? Yeah. Yoshi's Island. I do have the cart for Yoshi's Island, but I don't really remember playing Yoshi's Island. For whatever reason. I never got to play Kirby's Dream Course. Again, I'm a huge Kirby fan, so. I believe that's like a golf game or something. I don't know. Yeah, so. Anyway, I think that's about it. Oh, look, my phone is finally deciding to focus. Look at that. Now that looks way better. Took you long enough. Look at that. Alright. Kind of like getting closer. Is it stay focused? It is a little bit. So yeah, yeah, there's Yoshi's Island that I was pointing to earlier when it was blurry. Castlevania, it's still really small though, that you probably can't see Castlevania. Punch Out, never got to play Punch Out. I've heard a lot about this game from Nintendo Power, I think. Yeah, that's where most of my knowledge of this game comes from. Uh, let's see what else. Cry, there's your Kirby screen course there. Yeah, and there's some screenshots here in the bottom of some of the games. Yeah, there's Star Fox over there. What is that? Oh, uh, that's Metroid. Yeah, Metroid. All right. So yeah, that's about it, folks. Uh, hopefully this was somewhat informative or whatever. I don't really care. I just had fun making this, actually. So yeah, maybe I'll, I'll, I might record some of these games and put a footage of it with some commentary. Nothing too long term, though. Nothing too long. So I probably won't do Zelda, for instance. Probably won't do Metroid or Final Fantasy. Uh, maybe Final Fantasy. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. So yeah. See ya, folks. Bye.